It is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. I am Dana Malcolm. This is your midday edition of Top Stories. Coming up after this, the news that matters most. No need to visit a counter or stand in line to pay your Fortis TCI electricity bill. Try our new bill payment kiosks at Sunny Foods, Five Keys, and Blue Hills. It's a quick, convenient, and secure way to pay. Cash, card, and check payments are accepted. Our touchscreen interface lets you search for your account details and access your balance quickly. You can also pay multiple accounts at the same time, no matter the island. Payments are posted by the next business day. It takes a few quick steps, and you're done. Become a kiosk user today. Catching criminals will take a concrete plan, and Edvin Martin, newly installed commissioner of police in the Turks and Caicos Islands, has one. He revealed a list of big-ticket items he's planning to tackle immediately. Top of the list was crime. Under my watch, I can assure you that the RTCIPF will not sit idly by and observe this unrelenting rampage and havoc within our communities. Also on his list, addressing safety challenges in tourism, more tech to fight criminals, and restructuring to serve the public better, as well as expanded community policing. Martin was speaking during his swearing-in ceremony on Monday. With $3 million increase going to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Minister Otis Morris says it's going to be focusing on seriously improving customer service at its various agencies this year. Service times are to be lowered to three days at the Registrar General's office, while the DMV is to go completely digital, and another $1.5 million is going into social welfare. Coming out of that is an interesting and necessary new initiative, an independent living program. It's geared towards personal and professional development for children transitioning out of foster care at the age of 18. Morris says this would include teaching them life skills, career decision-making, and employability skills. The announcement came as he spoke during his ministerial speech in Budget Week. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Consultation on the multi-sector agency regulator for your Turks and Caicos utility sector continues and the Energy and Utilities Department urges you to tell them what you think. The regulator will give oversight to telecommunications, petroleum retailers and wholesalers, water and sewerage and energy. Get and review the draft policy and email your feedback to regulatory consultation at gov.tc. That's regulatory consultation at gov.tc. The jet ski community is buzzing about the case of Edgar Miguel Veloz Tirado, the Dominican man who went missing on a jet ski trip on April 8th. But they are the only ones talking. Police are keeping mostly quiet on the mysterious matter where Tirado rented a jet ski and never returned. He had said he was going to visit a key off Providenciales, but has not come back, not even to claim his belongings, which police say are still in his villa rental unit. Meanwhile, the jet ski community believes this is a theft, a runaway client, and perhaps one with a sordid past. We do know, thanks to police communications officer Denise Wren, that the Serious Crimes Unit has taken over the case, but it has not been openly confirmed if this is being treated as a theft or if the man is feared lost at sea. Royal TCI police on April 17th published a missing persons alert asking for assistance in finding Edgar Tirado. Over the weekend, young people gathered at the Youth Environmental Summit in a great show of youth advocacy. One thing they want more of is the enforcement of environmental laws in their homeland. I go to Taylor Bay on Sundays and guess what? The jet skis come in the park because I don't hold the title of, you know, a deputy or whatnot, you get cursed at. They feel there are no repercussions. That young woman wasn't the only one supporting the use of more penalties. I would really like to see more enforcement along those lines to not only hold just um, companies and organizations accountable, but people. Yeah. The very people, the very residents, uh, um, uh, and brothers and sisters around us. The event was held in celebration of Earth Day, which was officially on Monday, April 22nd. The power of attraction. Magnetic media. You can always find what you're looking for and what you need at Quality Food World. Shop retail, shop wholesale. Quality has the brands you know, the brands you love. Always quality. 
big savings every day. And remember to look out for sales for even bigger savings. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. On the Five Keys Access Road, Quality Food Bro, a prime trading company. After the unusual process that was the 2024-25 budget debates, a citizen's guide to the budget has been shared with the public. It contains a detailed breakdown of where the money has come from to fund the $485 million spending sheet and where the money will go. Also featured in the booklet is a breakdown of the islands of the Turks and Caicos and how much money will be going to each. Residents can access it on the TCIG website. That is it for this edition of the news. I am Dana Malcolm. Top Stories in 5 is a magnetic media production. Thank you for joining us.